Rumi! How'd you like that, baby? I love it! What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are taking a look at another player review, a Rumi. Rumi is he now edging out? Is he shouldering Romario as the ultimate tier CF? Let's find out. All right, boys, so we did get Rummy in the live stream. Huge shout out to everybody who donated in the live stream as well. OC, Abdullah, and Michael for the Rummy pack. We did actually get him. He was our last player that we got. We had to go pretty, we had to go collar deep for him, lads. Honestly, it was, it was kind of a bit annoying, but we did get him. And obviously we slotted him into the squad. Now I tested this guy out for hours, man. Just literally playing to him. And he's excellent once he gets the ball in the box. My goat is Romario, right? He's the best striker in the game. But Rummy is definitely there, thereabouts. Albeit, they are slightly different players. I'm going to show you the best build for Rummy. But I'll also show you a second build, which I think could be beastly. Depending on your play style as well. Because I obviously play a lot of wing-centric play. Where Rummy is the, the kind of the main man just tapping in. Now, he can do it all, lads, right? There is a couple of weaknesses in this card. It's not like end-game level cards that they're releasing anymore. They've kind of gotten a little bit smarter with some of the balances on the cards. But lit literally, you would see here, left foot, right foot, in the air, airily, he's fantastic, he's very strong, he's deceptively quick, even though his stats are really, really strong, he is actually deceptively quick as well once he has the ball, and he's very hard to get the ball off, kind of sticks to his foot. Now, I do think that Baggio currently is the best dribbler in the game, um, but I think that Rummy is definitely thereabouts, he's slightly different style. Now, once you get the ball in these type of positions, where you just want to close off a game, he can also assist, even though he doesn't have passing skills, the way the passing is at the moment, any player can get assists and any player can pass simple passes if you cut the angle. But this is where you want him to be, lads. You'll see time and time again, these chances we don't convert there. Um, that's obviously a user error on my behalf. It doesn't really matter his stats. We will show you the build that we had for this. But this is all that it's about, man. It's just about being a, a menace, right? We are playing him kind of in, a, in an SS role here, trying out different things, trying out what worked for him. And he's just a fantastic run and gun player. He's not lightning quick like Mbappe. Um, but I do feel that he offers something differently. And watch the technique he has. Look at this for a touch here. Beautiful chest control. And that is, again, me trying to finish there. But look at this. Rewind it back, right? Beautiful chest control. Instant. Instant deadening of the ball. And creates a chance for himself there as well. So, look. I do feel like it's all about how you train cards now. If you are playing Rummy as your main striker. And you don't have a support striker. So if you're playing him with, like, kind of a two-man up front... You can kind of train him a little bit differently. But if you are training him as your kind of go-to, he's my main option, my option number one, my scoring option number one. And he doesn't have somebody to play off, such as Collar, such as Romario, such as Mbappe, Leo. If you are using him as your main striker, I do feel that most people will benefit from this build. So I'm going to show you this build, and then I'm going to show you a clip or two as to kind of how you will play with this build. Because listen, lads, right? Depending on your skill level, we're going 10 into shooting, 0 into passing, 8 into dribbling, and 12 into dexterity. That's going to leave us 2 into lower body and the rest into aerial strength. If you're not too fussed about having his aerial strength up and you don't like cross in a few balls every now and again, you can just take them out and put them into lower body strength to get his kick and power up. Essentially what you're going to want with this build is an assassin-like center forward, your number 9, your main number 9, kind of Harry Kane-ish, um, not really as run and gun as I would prefer him to be. I will show you the hidden build, the, the best build that was just absolutely ripping teams yesterday in my live stream. This is a fantastic build, 90 in every stat or 90 plus in every stat, but the tight possession and the balance are the key stats if you want run and gun, and he doesn't have it with this build. Now, as I said, you can score, you'll see here, one touch, out from the body, boom. That's what you need to be doing with Rummy. The minute you get the ball in the box, man, any top player will punish you by scoring a goal or getting a really good chance for a rebound or you'll get a corner out of it. Very few chances are wasted. But this is, again, his aerial ability with this build. Little builds, little tiny tweaks to the build can make a big difference to the actual card and how they progress with their movement on the pitch. Now, when we were set to build again, this is the build that we actually used uh, yesterday on the live streams. If you watch the live stream, this is the build that we went to. We're actually going to pump in 13 into dribbling and 14 into dexterity with 4 into shooting. That's going to give us a very simplified version of Rummy. But it's kind of targeting what exactly you want out of him. I'm a big believer at the moment, lads, that if you've got a finishing at 80, 
you can actually score pretty much every chance you get if you're good enough, okay? It's not going to be the stat issue if you're missing six, seven chances in front of goal, hitting the post. Obviously, you get games like that where nothing goes your way and you just have to just chalk it down to, you know, stupid stuff happening. But 92 attack and awareness, tight possession at 90, balance at 90, kick and power is at the 80 mark. We also have finishing at 84, 94 speed and 98 acceleration. That is exactly where you want him if you're going to be running gunning. Now, when I compare players, I probably frustrate people talking about Romario so much, but I just think that Romario is the ultimate. But if you see how they stack up here, taking away the finishing, which Romario has 90 above 84 of Rummy, but taking away everything else, these are very even cards. Obviously, Romario is a fox in the box. He's going to control a little bit differently, and Rummy is going to be a goal poacher. So, you know, I think the better comparison is probably against Rafael Leao. If you train Rafael Leao as a center forward, as your main attack and threat, with the, with the balance, the speed, the acceleration, the run and gun. That's where the game is at at the moment, man. That's where the game rewards. And if you are using these players, you have to get the best out of them. Or else they're literally just a pretty looking card, a shiny looking card that has no value, okay? So Rummy can score, as I said, from everywhere. Long range, it doesn't make a difference, man. These cards that you have here are god tier cards. They're ultimate, ultimate, ultimate versions of the cards. You've also got the tight dribbling with this uh, build that we just saw there. It's fantastic. And of course, if you are getting chances like this to be able to run and gun with him, he's just really deceptively quick and able to finish off both left and right foot. His best attribute is obviously the fact that he's got really good high weak foot accuracy. So we're going to take a look at the stats, or we've already taken a look at the stats. We're going to take a look at the skills. So... A lot of people will say like, oh, you know, I should put low lofted. I see some people putting like passing skills onto center forwards or SSs. There's no point, man. Honestly, there is no point. If you are looking to build a center forward, your main role of a center forward should be what? It's to score goals. There's no point having a player up front that has got five or six passing skills and 90 low pass. For the chance creation in this game at the moment, unless you're playing casually or unless you don't play online that much and you're playing offline, yes, then you can just dominate by passing the ball around and having some good fun doing that. But if you're looking to get the most out of these players, one touch pass is a necessity if you're looking to bring others in, if you're just looking for run and gun. And then aerial superiority and chip shot control, I think, are really nice as well. Long range curler is very, very effective on this card if you want to go that route. But I, honestly, lads, I do feel that Rummy is definitely suited as a run and gun finisher. I do think that the game rewards that type of play style. And once I opened up that build of Rummy, the second build that you guys saw, build number two, that really saw um, him find his form and just absolutely dominate against teams. And we played some good Division 1 players. We played some subscribers that are really high, high, high ranked and high skilled at the game. So it just depends on what you want to get out of him. But that is it for me, lads. That is it for the Rummy build. We will be back with a Honus build as well. He's kind of surprised me and he's kind of a different build as well than we're used to. Um, so we'll be back with that build. Until then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to have a massive stream coming on Thursday with the new season update. Um, or, yeah, the update for the new season. We'll be back very, very soon. Let me know what you think of Romy. Is he up there now with the ultimate tier of strikers? I would be inclined to say yes.